This is Rob with SafeNet AT, and today we're integrating ISC CERT Agent with our Luna SA HSM for Government. This integration is supported on Linux and Windows. We'll be testing this on Windows Server 2012 R2. You will need to have the Luna client already installed and configured. We have other guides and videos available that will walk you through that. You can verify that the client is configured correctly by running the VTL verify command. This will show that the partition is assigned to the client. And then we can also run the CMU list command and verify that the partition is currently empty. Once the integration is complete, we'll be able to see the keys and certificates created here on the partition. Now that we have the client configured correctly, we can launch the installer for ISC CERT agent. We'll click Next and Agree. On this page, we'll select Components. If we did not have Java installed, that would be an option to install also. We can choose the path and click Next. Here we can choose a port or accept the default. For server information, I'll be using the IP address and selecting the default ports. And then click Install. On the HSM configuration page, if we have the client configured correctly, the library and partition will already be selected. For the PIN, we'll enter the partition password. We'll also enter an organization and then a password and confirm that password for the PKSCS12 package. On the database configuration page, we'll need to enter a password for the special SA account as well as creating a normal user and a password for that account. And then click Finish. The README file contains a lot of good information about the key store and the files that are stored in that folder as well as links to the web pages for managing CERT agent. Now if we check the start menu, we can see that shortcuts were created for CERT agent, and here we can use the pen entry option to activate the HSM. This launches the script that allows us to enter the partition password, which will allow the services to run. Anytime the system is restarted or CERT agent is restarted, we will need to run the pen entry script. Now that we've installed CERT Agent, there is an upgrade available to version 706. To make this easier, I'll copy the upgrade file into Program Files, CERT Agent 7, Update. The format of the command is updatetool.bat dash install, and then the update file name. Here we'll type yes to proceed. CERT Agent supports Internet Explorer and Firefox. For this demo, we'll be using Firefox. So I'm opening Firefox and going down to Options. Click on Privacy and Security, and then scroll down to Certificates, and click on View Certificates. Here we'll click on Your Certificates and Import, and then we'll browse to the Key Store directory under the Cert Agent Install directory. We'll need to select each of these P12 files and import them using the password that we selected when we were installing CERT Agent. Now 
Now, under Authorities, we'll need to import the root certificate that was created during install. That's the caroot.der file. And then click OK. Now, if we rerun the cmu list command, we'll be able to see the objects that were created during the installation. Here we have three certificates and three public-private key pairs. Before we begin using CertAgent, we will need to run pen entry again after having done the update to 706. Here we'll enter the password for the petition and click Enter. Now that we've run pen entry, and we have the system configured and updated to version 706, we can launch the system administration shortcut. Here we can select which user to log in as. These are the certificates that we imported into Firefox. And if we click on the credentials link, we can see that we're using the Luna client library and that it's using the HSM to store the private keys. And this completes the integration of ISC CERT Agent with our Luna SA HSM for Government.